I am going live. Hey, welcome all of you. So first of all, we want to talk, say, I beg, I make no no vex, say, we start late. You know how things they be sometimes. Network good day, network fee no day. You understand? So I beg, I beg, I beg, make no no vex for all. So if you don't already join, if you don't already join, I beg, make Una tell us for the comment session. So first of all, make I apologize, give my speaker because they don't dare yet say, eh? So I beg, go oh, sorry you. Like I did tell our audience, uh, network not really too good for my side. Let me go start late. But I don't already talk them before. Before we start, say for all of the Nigerian panelists where we get, uh, Pigeon could they speak? Not only the international panelists now could they speak English for? So make a confirm, say our speakers, our panelists, our speaker, everybody done ready. So I beg, make una say hi to our audience. So for pigeon, make una say hi to our audience. For pigeon, use pigeon. So anybody will want to start, I beg, make una start. My people will not good evening. Or... <laughs> good evening, good evening, good evening. That day, that day, Facebook, that they give us the comments. Okay, so for our our audience to if una fit the type for pigeon, eh, it go really sweet, well, well, so that everything go they go well like bono soup. For if it's Nigeria, you go know how if they chop about a bono soup a day or it be. So if you know say it's Nigeria or you be Nigerian, eh? I beg as they do this live, so eh, make una they speak or type for pigeon, eh? Thank you very much. So again, of our panelists, again, we want to say hi. So Zablon, hi. Do you want to say hi to our audience? Like I said, it's only Zablon I'll be speaking English with. So the rest of you, make sure that you're going to be responding in Pigeon. So Zablon. Hi, everyone. Hi. uh let me just confirm is it just me or i can't hear zablon hello hi we can hear you now okay thank you we can hear you now so can you just say hi to the audience let's do a bit of introduction i mean like i don't need to i know that i do not need to read everybody's bio and for the nigerian audience yes i'm still going to speak it in pigeon i know say i don't need to tell um our audience about not too much because you know when i be stars for we on that day so but just introduce yourself just tell the audience about you so Zablon, do you want to do a little introduction? Yes, yes. Uh, I hope you can hear me. Okay. Yes. Yeah, you can. I'm, uh, I'm Zablon Ogenda. I come from Kenya. Yes, and uh, at Teka Africa, I, I am a right. volunteer. Sorry? Okay. Uh... Thank you very much, Zablon. So we still have um, AJ on the call. We still get AJ for this call. So AJ, you want to smile? Be like, say, this economy, not just this Nigerian economy, not just the affects you. So as you smile, we like them like that. Eh? Yes, just continue like hear. that. So I beg you. We can hear. Well, uh, everybody <laughs> in the online, good evening. Hope you all are doing well. Thanks for joining us here. Uh, my name is Eje Franklin. I be legal practitioner and um, also I did also render advisory services and all of that, as well as I be also volunteer to um, take Africa and um, that that's that is it about me. So far, so good. Waiting me, that is it about you. Which which <laughs> which version of pigeon is okay. eh? Na, na, which na, na version of pigeon? Eh, 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 another one you go talk. <laughs> another one you go talk. <laughs> hey, yes, no, another one you go talk. Oh yeah, no. I'm here. 
Okay, ah, okay, Coach Toby, it's not you are here, uh, it's you they here, or you know, uh, hey, you go talk and well. No. I'm here, I'll be waiting for we you. We don't start so direct directly, we don't start, we don't go live. We did live on Facebook, hey, right? Are now. you live now? Yes, yes, so ah, okay. So we don't already start saying so I don't already tell our audience say no need to really go into, you know, they they talk about the bio of anybody because if we start today for the caliber of people where we get if we start today we're not going to finish for bio we're not going to enter the topic way carriers come here today so yes yes so just tell us more introduction about yourself which you they do then we'll go enter the topic proper all right no problem no problem we did we did all right, so you want to tell our audience small thing about you, just small introduction. All right, should I start? Yes, yes, uh, we did wait to see so. All right, thank you, SOA. So my name is Tobio Lighton. I've been in the nonprofit space when we be the core NGO for a while now, some years now. So currently I'm the programs manager for an NGO that works with rural women, empowering them to maximize their resources for good livelihoods. So that's what I what I do. And I'm also a scrum master. I manage projects in what we call agile way using scrum now let's see where they do be that be like, say, be like, say, after this today session they will get another session where you go teach us this thing you know? because it can't be like <laughs> say not be this nigeria we day again because ah, this one way they talk agile scrum master waiting they teach people chinese so you, you they teach people how to buy it which one be scrum master again Man, but yes, so sad. yes Yes, we get EVA for this call, and we also get Prisca because, like I talk, we get plenty, plenty better people for you today. So, EVA, if you do small introduction for us, me, our audience, we know you. You know, good evening, you know, now welcome. Make una no vex for me. The 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 mago mago we I don't do to enter this call today, not be small. <laughs> My name na Ivie, I be lawyer and I be tech lawyer. So this topic where we won't talk today na something where I like, where I did do. Also, I they work with Tech Africa, we they help women, rural women. So now all these things we won't talk about today. Hope you are excited because me, I dare excited to. Now, welcome. Thank you. Welcome, Thank you very much, Ibi. <laughs> and um, Priska, you there with us? Oh, how would they do? Am would they talk this digital inclusion matter? So, I did, I did, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. 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 <laughs> okay, my name is Priska. Priska Moses. Anyway, my people are on a day first. Make a ask now. Who oh, say on a day? On a day? On a day? Follow up for Matawe Day Niger. Where the Matawe Day Ground. My name is Priska, <laughs> eh, and I be volunteer for Take Africa. I be volunteer for for area where they do social media when they manage social media when they write things i will say as an come when i go benefit and i go take plenty thing go home as we want you know carry some matter talk for everybody may when i hear them thank you with these kind people with they ground like this we know say ah, they go carry better goals they go even go teach people better self so make we enter the the cocoa of the matter like make we really enter them well well because you know say we don't already delay small because of network so i go just ask them to everybody just tram to the house eh say this digital inclusion where we they talk so 
this digital inclusion it really they possible for everybody like it really they possible and you know say as life be everybody they different some people feel talk yes some people feel talk no so if you talk yes uh, this digital inclusion really they possible for everybody eh? you go talk why if you talk no mm. say this is an inclusion you're not there for everybody you go talk why so anybody will want to start if you start then we'll come enter our speaker make it tell us more from this experience you know say you don't talk plenty things scrum master agile we like say you don't go everywhere don't do this digital inclusion where we're so we'll come enter our speaker but anybody will want to answer so for the sake of zablon i'm just going to translate only for the sake of zablon right so i'm going to translate that um i've just said that I've just asked the main question, if digital inclusion is truly possible for us, if you're um, saying yes, you're going to tell us why. And if you're saying no, you're going to tell us why, right? So let's just get in. So the floor don't they open, make we not the wait, make person answer first. Our speaker fee answer, anybody fee answer for this one? Oh. <laughs> okay, thank you so much, Isoy. Okay. So first, I will want to begin by defining what digital inclusion is. Then I will tell us whether I feel it is a, a yes or no. Okay. So first, digital inclusion, what it, it refers to the availability, accessibility, and affordability of technology, including the internet connectivity. So I can say it is true that we can achieve digital inclusion mm -hmm. for all. Because when we talk about the availability, which means we have the things that we can do or we can put in place to ensure that even those who are uh, at the rural areas can get access to cheap internet connection. Yes. Okay. Thank you. So we don't really know if you have said yes. I know you said yes, it's possible. And, you know, do you want to expound on your reason for why you say yes, it's possible? The reason why I've said it is possible is because I first defined what it means, where we are talking about the availability, accessibility, and affordability of technology. And here we say including internet connectivity. So, which means if we look at the factors or any other thing that we can put in place to ensure that it is affordable to everyone, then which means governments, they can partner with those who offer the, the services or the digital or the tech companies to ensure that these things are available to those who are in the rural areas at an affordable price. Okay. And as time right. goes by, I will, I will expound more on other factors or other things that we can put in place to ensure that it is achieved. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, Zablon. Thank you very much. For the sake of our audience, I just want to go over it again that we did speak pidgin for this session today. Not mind this English way. Now, because say Zablon not really come from Nigeria. <laughs> so I did see some comments waiting for English. I know say not be everybody's have a type for pidgin, sha, but if you fit eh, make you just type because I did see our mama. You get you get person way for tech Africa. They call our tech mama. She they say, I love this. Amazing. As in for PG, what do you mean? <laughs> now I know, not be amazing, like a uh hair. -huh. So, like I already talked, the floor they open. So, digital inclusion, it really they possible for all of us. Evie Franklin, um, Coach Toby Priska, the floor don't they open? So, now. Okay, uh, I think I talk something here. Yes, it they possible. In fact, the window don't they open? Like we we get this um, this uh, notion or this phrase where people they always use, say the world now now global village, now small world with the inside where you feel access anything from anywhere in or any part of the world. So for that for that factor we don't come into place through technology, through accessibility to to internet facilities and all these small small things like that you don't make you don't make them they possible say you fit it's it, it you fit access 
if he access this um, digital space. So it did very possible. It did very, very possible. And that's something where everybody supposed they ready to accept because the way where the world they move, it don't they it don't they move to that digital space already. So it you must you must just share join that bandwagon. Now so it be now. So the possibility he did there already, he did ground. He just like said they don't lay the foundation. Now for everybody now to say, oh yeah, make we enter that building, make we they grow together inside. Thank you. It's all right. all right. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Franklin. So we'll go coach Toby now. May I hear now? Very thank you so much. Now the, the thing we say in day possible, and at the same time, in no day possible. Because it is easy way we should talk theory. But looking at statistics where they on ground, statistics with as at last year, August, broadband connectivity in Nigeria was around 45% thereabouts, according to NCC. Do you know what that means? Because for us, make we achieve digital inclusion, where we say everybody get equal opportunity and access to what? Technology and, and its services. The key word now equal. Now, how it go be, be say how everybody will now get equal if the infrastructure, the thing we go make them happen, no day on ground. So, according to Center for D Digital Equity, there are five things where we make digital inclusion happen. Number one, we say there must be what affordable and robust broadband internet service. Now, let me show you some numbers. As of January this year, Nigeria, we, did, we don't reach 226.5 million as of January this year. Now, this same January this year, let me shock you, we only have 103 million internet users, which corroborate, say, which uh, confirm, say, we only get about 45.5 internet penetration. Now, what did cost this one? It's because we don't get enough broadband connectivity. What is the broadband? It's the way where they make data, they flow. When they make things, they transmit. If you don't get that one, that it be like say you want to travel, go Abuja, you don't get airplane, you don't get fuel. The thing will go allow you to fly, go Abuja and broadband. So if you're not dead here, it is going to be difficult because now as we talk am now the rich they still they divide between those who are in the urban areas and the rural areas because the infrastructure we go bring internet come that place never reach everywhere so one way i watch where did they interview minister for communication and innovation and economy dr bosun tijani Rotus was, was by a rise channel. Say, Rotus was saying, as at last year, the minister talked, say, we're going to about two billion dollars to increase this broadband penetration. <laughs> Not been naira and dollar. And they say, government no go fit pay, but if it guarantee the loan. You know what I mean? So that means they need more investors. Now, investors no go want invest if they don't go get return. So I like what thing our current minister they do. You know what thing they do? In the release what we call a white paper. Say, how do we be like say this broadband way uh, Mr. Toby they talk uh, it really not they reach us because everybody network these days. Be like say the broadband we need to we need to spread them where well because our network these days eh it don't come out now for the broadband way they even they talk say it don't even come out now because the broadband mm -hmm. not reach us for this Nigeria. So yes, no yes, wala. We go go EVA now and eh, make Shifi talk. This this um digital inclusion, if it they possible. But before we go EVA, our audience they talk very, very sweet things where they like. So this person say we don't see number of people where they join we don't join this session from plenty part of the world so it is very possible so this person they talk here say they possible 
another person talks say this thing it depend on as we take define waiting or mean ah all come in another thing because for for, for i i to say they teach all of us all for for school oh not be everybody again <laughs> okay but another person can talk say not to put major things for ground so it they possible yes but not to put major things for ground so the madam we talk whether and as we take define or she can't talk say for how you know they possible to a large extent the possibility depend on say everybody not fit they the same level for waiting with the use and for hmm. but even for the basic level you fit or say it's not just they possible at all but maybe we'll go our next panelist our next panelist now regina she don't join us so she go do small introduction then she will come answer the question say whether uh, digital inclusion really they possible for us Okay, so good evening, evening, everybody. Oh. Good, good evening. evening. Oh. So, uh, I greet good all of you now. Okay. Uh, as that brother just talk about broadband, I just remember my experience. You see, since I joined oh. late, let's say hey. broadband, no do my side. You see, so, uh, we don't already confirm I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> okay, my name is Regina, and um, I be person where they manage to social media accounts. So I they help people make people they see them wear for the social media space. Then I they help people when no fit their CV, make them get job, I they help them get job by writing make it they very, very well. So that the person may want to employ them could see them wear. Okay. So back to the matter where they go and make I shook my mouth inside. The way that this is that we should be possible. My yeah, sister say, is they possible and you know they possible? Because for ah, na broadband do na final. No, I know now I be why we talk safe. Say na broadband, <laughs> <laughs> but yes, continue. <laughs> okay, now if we look inside inside some of these villages, you could see say ah, network no day. Access to internet, no day. So, how we won't take, manage, carry all those people along, compare with people with their size city. Like, as that brother, they give us the history. I just, they understand what they talk. Because now, we think they're on ground with that. They say, for inside villages, they never get proper infrastructure. Even some places for cities, they we still get problems when it comes to network and internet access. So how we want to do this matter now? We say, how we go take include everybody for this digital thing? Okay, see our mama, they with the inside village. Let me say, if you will give them phone safe, now problem again for you to help them operate them. You understand? So how we go take do the matter? How long it thing go take us? If it's there possible, but this thing go take us time, shall we? Because even the government get work where they go do. But uh, who, who won't even start the, the work? Now you make a talk to you. I like when they take Africa, they do this. Then they go inside villages where they teach women everything about this technology. Can't give them phone on top. But it go day possible, but it go day hard more and it go take time. Now it's I won't talk for this matter. Thank you. Sorry. Thank you, Regina. And I make all of us just the at Tech Africa, just the do I'm small, small. We know say the job not the easy, but we they do I'm small, small. And before you know, other people too go join hands with us and then we'll go do I'm and then uh before you see I'm everybody go come they connected. So this broadband will go talk where will they talk? If not government will want me to, if not people where they do the broadband, we go meet, we go meet them, make it be hundred percent, make it not be forty-five percent because be like say that forty-five percent, my own where they not the inside so maybe we go Priska now Priska, you the yells and the you all right thank you so took mouse for inside this matter hmm what's the other talk we say no say as we did like this um for 2000 and 2019 it's up 2018 2019 Plenty of people know Sabi, the, the, the thing they, but plenty of people know Sabi waiting be Zoom. So as COVID come enter everywhere, now everybody they use Zoom. 
the Zoom, they do meeting, they use Zoom, they do work, they work online, they do plenty thing. So we see as the world, they fast forward. Person, plenty people, where they use Zoom, they never hear them before, they never use them, but they don't learn them, use them. Everybody, people now, where they take, where they do take, plenty of them know Sabian, but they don't learn them. People don't show them, people don't train them how to they use them. So me and talk say this thing they possible. Forget those the mama and papa where they for inside inside village when they use. We know say most of them no use them, but you get as the one maybe do training, do zoom, do something when they go use them, um, maybe one of the online platform. They no go sabi, but person we go there around, go show them, it go help them. So if they want enter meeting now, they no go enter, then go include them, then they part of people where they they inside. Um, that Zoom, then go count them say now online them join them. Even though they say them, they know Sabi operate them. So me, I would also say, go they, they, they possible, but the only wahala where they, they be say, you go, you go, you go take plenty people, make them train plenty people when no Sabi technology or when no Sabi use um, this kind of thing. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Priska. Thank you very much. Me too. I believe say they possible as we they do small small work for this for Tech Africa now. We they push them small small, and then they talk for Nigeria say now cooperation they make food sweet. Now cooperation, like I don't already talk. If people come together now, if they say they want to jo join Tech Africa, say um okay, as they want to join now, say make them um work together with us you go see say things go they move small small from 45 percent we will go 50 from 50 we will go 60 from 60 before you know you go reach all this everybody they go up small small they go it not go happen again because the broadband you go don't reach everywhere everybody for everywhere <laughs> so make we just get eva to took mat for inside this matter then our speaker go come talk come tell us in experience about this digital inclusion my people now well done. No. That broadband will be forty five percent for where mm. you so you know reach ten percent for where me day. Oh, hey. <laughs> because ah today don't show me. Anyway, <laughs> I want to talk say digital inclusion they possible for everybody. It they possible complete total digital inclusion. Inclusion, everybody they involved, it they very, very possible. And like my sister um talk, it go take time more, but if not something we're ready to do, we go feed one. All these infrastructures we not day. If not the people where they do the broadband or the fiber optics wire, we go go they meet them. That's why the Work where we they do for Tech Africa, it they important because now small small we will take do this thing. One person not fit say they will do, and we need to collaborate. And like my sister, I saw her talk. Now when you join hands together, now they make everything sweet. So one person go do this one, one person go do this one, so that everybody go contribute, go make sure say the thing they okay. And our broadband, they 100%. So that we know they disappear from meeting like this every time, every time. So it they possible. But it will take one, it will take time, it will take our dedication too. And we need to start and small, small. It not be say we will just start today, we will say we will reach everywhere today. We need to do a small, small. No matter how small, we will they do a small, small. They push and they go. Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Uh, yes, okay. All right. It likes a broadband or whole am small. <laughs> broadband or whole am small. I guess we should continue. <laughs> <laughs> all right so let me just continue did, did, i like the way we, we don't talk calm we don't go give up but we just let's lay the thing where we, we know where we did first to know where we need to go so we thank god say tech africa don't come on board to see how they can bridge this gap so there are three things we go help us achieve this digital inclusion now the number one way i talked before 
my device <laughs> happen to me. Number one, now connectivity. Number two, now what literacy, because people will get access to technology and services, and they, they don't go know what they go do with arm. Do you get? So we need to also increase literacy. And thank God, say Tech Africa, they do arm literacy on how to use devices and literacy on how to process things for economic viability. Because people feel just they consume and know they produce when they use internet. And thank God, say Tech Africa, they deal with that angle, whereby they, you only access, but you go feed process. So, okay, this thing where I don't get access to, I feel use them benefit my life, I feel use and learn, I feel use and sell, I feel use and do things. Now, the third point we go help us achieve inclusion be what we call affordability. Affordability. Affordability, they two dimension. Number one, be the device where I go use connect. I feel afford them. So looking at Nigeria way we did now, device get different range. If you want to use normal Android phone, you know, say you know if you buy them for ten thousand, you know if you buy them for twenty thousand. So we go say okay, thank God say Tech Africa did they, they, they give some people devices. Is there any other innovation way we use? Like for example, now I I don't work for different places. Currently I'm working with women. Now so women, the only way to help women or Zamade group, you can use cooperative. If they bring money together, say let us see you get your own first. You get your own next. So they go do them together. We go grow together and we go the, uh, mature together. So cooperative will help. Now, apart from say you go buy devices, you go also think of data. But you go use buy data because people we get phone. Now let me show you another statistics where I see we say they then talk say for that same January this year we get 205.4 million cellular connection. That means people will get full. They over 205 million. But now only 103 million, they use internet. So what, what does that mean? It means say, maybe people don't get money to buy subscription. So we have to look at that one too. How do we have subsidy? So this, everything we I don't talk now, it go involve both government and private sector. And Nigeria, they a, a big country. If anybody invests in this country, they go get return. So when they call on investors, support Tech Africa to provide broadband uh, connectivity. If we provide uh, 5G um, standard parks, if we provide satellite systems, and then as they, as they, as they, they go to other places, if we go with all these. Uh, Connectivity devices. We go help people. They there. They connect their devices. Then we feel help get people. We feel support by data, internet data. Say ah, it's, no now data na new oil na oil. Because if you get data now, you feel do business. You feel learn. So if you if we, if we can support people in rural spaces with amount for data, and let me shock you, the reason we say some people don't want to invest. Say if I invest. I put fiber optics or I bring a 5G for this community. Will I get my money back? And thank God for our Minister for Communication, Innovation and Digital Economy, Dr. Bosun. He talks say, to motivate investors to come and invest to get this infrastructure ongoing, he won't put forward public, uh, public services, public schools, public hospitals, public centers. So if all the public schools connect, they go buy data now. So if they promote public institutions for investors to come and say, ah, imagine how many public schools, how many public hospitals, how many public centers we get for each state. Because for, for, for now, now, now only Lagos get highest broadband connectivity because there's commercial activity there's hope there for investors but what about other states so it can say how we go 
encourage investors to come and help us to increase this board band. We say, if they see the potential with for public institutions, because government must buy data. If, if that one is put forward first, they will not come in and invest. Because if we can get more fiber optics for every local government, we will get more connectivity. And when people connect, they will collect. Because when you connect, you go what? You go collect. So everybody waiting for village, fee connect. And let me shock you. So people, they think, ah, if I invest, go village, I go get my money back. You go get money back. Because one thing when people, they consume for villages, the more. Now, entertainment. People won't hear joke. People, people when they're hungry, they won't laugh. So imagine if we give everybody assets for both business, learning, and entertainment in rural areas. And they are buying data every time. Investor go make money. Because let me tell you, in this, all these rural areas, they like to enjoy. You go think, say, they don't go one use device. But let me shock you. If you teach them how to use it, they go learn. Because if market women feel remember their phone number, that means they could remember anything. My mother, we day over 70. We won't do my sister's birthday on, on Monday. And she won't do virtual party. She won't do government party. You know what we do? My senior sister teach my mother how to use Google Meet. She use them, she come join her. She's over 70. So imagine if we say, ah, she don't go know, she don't go know, she don't go want to use them. The only gap we say, she don't know how to use them. So if we increase connectivity, if we increase literacy skills, if we increase affordability, we go have what? Data inclusion. Thank you very much. Ah, you will like say I don't miss well well. I know say this broadband will not reach my <laughs> side. Hey, I don't miss well well. Just the small one where I hear. So if we have, if we have, but you know, say we we knock on they use the uh, pigeon again. So as we they talk, maybe we still they use the pigeon so well, that them, uh, other them. people will feel understand. You understand? Well, but them. I know say I don't miss well well. Be like say our speaker, I don't finish. Make we say the grace. Make we they go out. Make we as we like say we don't learn well well. Eh? So maybe we go um Zablon. All right, let's go back to Zablon, right? Let's go back to Zablon. And Zablon is just going to tell us briefly. Um, he's going to answer the question: to what extent do economic factors impact digital inclusion? And how can this affordable access that you know our speaker has talked about, how can this affordable access be guaranteed for everyone, right? Zablon, please confirm that you just heard the question. How can this affordable access be guaranteed for everyone? And to what extent do economic factors impact digital inclusion? OK, thank you so much, Isoy. And uh, first of all, allow me to allude to the fact that uh, economic factors play a very significant role in digital inclusion. And when we are talking about economic factors, I just want to handle three which is income, education, and employment. Yes, yeah, so how do income affect uh, economic inclusion? One, it influences the person's ability to access technology. When we are talking about income, these devices, some of them are very expensive. And so someone who is a low income earner may not be at a position to purchase or maybe afford the data bundles that will be needed. For instance, when we talk about such live streams, when it's taking about two hours and someone will need a lot of uh, uh, bundles. So when we talk about the income, it can affect to a greater multitude uh, on that. And another thing is uh, on education. We have people who have a lot of money. They can purchase all the machines they can afford the data bundles, but then they lack the digital skills. So they don't know how to operate these machines, yet they have the, the, the money part of, part of it. So that is also another way that uh, education can also influence or affect digital inclusion. Because we have the affordability, we have also, they can afford it, but then they lack the digital skill part of it. Lastly, I want to talk about uh, the employment. There are people who are employed, 
then we get that some of them are kind of busy that they cannot get to access these things when when they are needed so then we are asking ourselves how can this affordability be guaranteed and in order to guarantee the access to technology for everyone various strategies can be implemented one governments can subsidize on the cost of internet access and provide free public wi-fi for instance in our markets so it is upon our governments to ensure that each and every public market is equipped with a public Wi-Fi, which is free. So that in case someone has the gadget with them, then the government has subsidized on the part of the cost for the data bundles. And also on education part of it, free trainings can be organized to ensure that people have the digital skills. In as much as some of them may be having the, the gadgets, but then the skills part of it is very much important because they have to operate them. People have to get to understand how to connect their phones with the, wi with the Wi-Fi or the internet, and then how can they engage? Because the world in itself currently has been brought to be a, a global village by the use of technology, whereby in Kenya I can order something from uh, using Alibaba and get it immediately sent to me. So that is also another way that we can ensure that the education part of it by offering free trainings, mostly for those who are in the rural areas, because when we talk about rural areas, they face a lot of challenges. One, maybe affordability of these uh, gadgets. Two, and then it is on the skills. Because currently, the market is being handled on e-commerce. And that is what also we are doing with her local market, whereby someone you can just order and get your products delivered to your doorstep. In as much as it may come with the... Broadband. <laughs> our our tech mama don't talk, so it not be broadband again. Now slim band. The now band. The band. band is not broad. <laughs> the the band not broad. Now slim band. Now we get eh because it not even reach fifty percent. So now slim band we get to. But make I just read some small small comments where we get for here because. Our, our audience just, they talk some very sweet things. So, it be like I say, when our speaker, they talk, get waiting, he talk, eh? we really knock this, our audience. She say, exactly, exactly, that thing where our speaker talk. How to they use them, they produce. Now, why she first talk, say, we know if they on the same level, okay? Maybe our speaker don't talk, or person don't talk, waiting, actually confirm, waiting, she'd already put for comments before. Then our tech mama can't talk, say this conversation, the boss had brain. And hey, now this one won't they see, not be English. Not is amazing, amazing <laughs> from here. Yeah. Hey, hey. So she said the conversation, the boss had brain. Then be like, say, person talk about data subsidy. And mama can't be like, ah, I pray oh, that have subsidy. Because remember, I guess some universities where they this Nigeria, where we they talk. So where you get some kind of places where you go go, they go talk, say free Wi-Fi day. But it can't be like say after some years where the free Wi-Fi can't they reduce or the, the bands, the band can't they slim, they slim, they go to it can't disappear because it's not can the free Wi-Fi, it's free, but it's not can the Wi-Fi, the Wi-Fi, it's not can they do the work where it's supposed to. So now so. So our, our tech mama still talk say um slim ban. Then person can't talk say make we make we do tech first for market women. Ha. Hey, this one eh? person don't bring correct correct suggestions. Say may we do tech first for market women. Coding, AI, machine learning don't do. Ha. Be like say we go call you make you can't teach them this thing so. But for a uh, hair, somebody even asked, say, you not go too much coding AI for our market women. Ah, may they not, you know, leave their markets now. One so make their brain. go back to as in they won't bust their brain. 
So may we go back to Franklin now. May we ask him one one small question. Make we ask him one small question. Make it for fit answer. So Franklin, now this broadband we don't already talk him, but we they ask now. Say this um broadband or this infrastructure because for this conversation we already established say the infrastructure include broadband so how if he they improved how you think say we feel better um, is it to because if we were the city they talk say ah, broadband our own a slim band waiting people where they village where they all those rural areas go come talk so how you feel say we feel improve um is it to i remember that time when mtn just enter nigeria where they go they do must if they want come do must for your house they will tell you, say, ah, I will give you something, or they go show again arrangements with you. Is it to they in, increase the mass weight they around, or how you feel, say, we feel increase or improve this infrastructure for um digital inclusion so that this this digital inclusion way we they talk, it go they smooth, they go. Okay, um, I think uh, my brother don't talk the major part of this this infrastructure matter. Earlier, when he made, they gave us breakdown analysis, uh, but definitely they still get certain things where we feel do to improve them. And when it when it comes to this matter of digital infra infrastructure, a very 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 fundamental matter. And um, yes, many synergies there, synergies of partnership. Now one of those fundamental synergies where we help. Now, where where we know say we get network providers like the like of the likes of MTN, Blue, mm. Etel, where they help us with what they call internet, you get, and then we also get some other ones where they also provide the same internet services. It it, it will require serious collaboration. It will require serious collaboration because if you look and where where, you go see say you get some kind of areas where this network gets strength. This network no get strength. Now, why it, all this is they happen now? Because um, one individual, one particular uh, organization or company, now then just they put in that effort to make sure say, oh, uh, uh, my this place will get strength, or I will put more effort here, and all those kind of things. But when we see collaborations, not just by um, not not just by only the network providers, but even um, NGOs. Who, where they advocate for all these kind of things like Tech Africa, they do creating that, uh, creating that platform where all of us be synergized. Say, okay, now make we look at the interest of everybody because now interest don't come inside this matter because no be just matter of say, uh, uh, I, I will cover this side, you do your own, make I do my own. Now, now issue of public interest, now it be this infrastructure matter, and when we see that synergy where they come from both the private sector the government too they do their own we we um the non-governmental organizations too like tech africa where they put in effort they try to reach out to rural rural environment do their own part once all these uh various factors synergize look this thing say this is not a matter of waiting i won't gain but Look and see now public interest because now waiting will benefit everybody. Knowing say the digital space now space for all. Digital space now the global village where we talk of. You go see say I feel they here now and then I go feel they communicate with another person where they imagine uh, uh, my brother Zablon they 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 Kenya and that they talk and they hear me and in the in the even talk I go hear them. So now waiting digital space don't create. So if we not if we not take advantage of the space where don't they exist in terms of saying okay, make we look at this thing, say this digital infrastructure, now issue of public interest because if it cover everywhere, if it is stable, if network no they fluctuate, it go they easy, it go they seamless to assess all of let's say a slim band, it go they it go they easy, it go they seamless to assess all these things. And now the main and the main foundation also towards achieving all these things among the many other things where we don't talk. So we must we, we must see situation where we say every sector, the government, the private, 
the non-government go sit down and say, see, it don't reach make we make this thing a matter of public interest. Make we see how we go achieve and say this particular infrastructure. Because to tell you the truth, once we feel get our rights with digital infrastructure, you just get out it's going to be serious and everything will just flow. Because now the space where even the Western world don't advance go. So if we we thought they want the slack, we won't stay behind. They struggle this thing. Now let's go so far I'm at the end of the day. Oh. So now my own now my own position concerning the fact say this particular digital space where don't they exist? Now space where everybody must join. And if we want successfully join them, we must see them as a matter of public interest. Say, see everybody, both the rural, both the urban, must stay inside this this wagon where they carry everybody. They go the next level. Thank you. Good. Thank you. So, all right. Can I, can Thank I just, you very can much, I... Franklin. And I just want to count small for we. Okay. 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 Yes. Uh, our speaker won't talk some one small. Yeah, time. I want to. I like waiting for Franklin talk. Ingo take efforts for both okay. public and private. Did they hear me? Did they hear me so? Yes, we they hear you. Yes, so, we they hear you. Um, for the part of private people, we need to also uh, put pressure on our government because they don't put some things in place already. Be before I come to private part. Now, the public part, we say, there is what we call a national broadband plan, a committee where they set up. We suppose do work between 2019 and 2025. And the goal, we say, they want aim, say, we go achieve minimum of 25 Mbps in urban areas. Now, when this our current uh, minister enter, like he release in the work from last year now, he don't start his own work too. He don't start what we, what we call uh, National Broadband Alliance. In own plan, we say he go bring people together to develop sustainable models. So they know say problem day for digital infrastructure, but they're looking for innovation towards solve the problem. Now, for our own part, we will, we will be private people. And thank God for Tech Africa. We go use, I go use this example of Gmail. Most people get email. Now, then they give Gmail for free, right? You go to say that they give you for free. They don't give many people Gmail for free. Meanwhile, their business model or the thing where they go use to make money, we say, you go to get email or email, they go to fool your email. Then it go reach one place. They go say, you come and buy Google Workspace. So the more Tech Africa educates people, teach people how to use devices and get devices, Imagine if Tech Africa increase device usage for Nigeria by 50%. You now go come meet an investor, say, okay, for this, our for for 10 local governments or for only local government. Now, before we came there, they were they were only 10% users. Now, when we got there, we now have 100 percent users. Please come and set up 5G here. Or come and set up a starlight. Because there are other there are other means to get broadband apart from fiber optic. For fiber optic, they're expensive. We have other means. We have people who they use masks, 4G, 2G, 3G. But another one, we, we, we don't come on a 5G. If we, if we get 5G to all these communities or we get satellites to all these communities, they go get broadband access closer to them. But it go take money. So people like Tech Africa fee encourage investors say enter this community we don't go there we don't teach them if we invest here all these people go they buy data all these people go they use their phone you go see say you go get many partners to solve that broadband problem and the thing i want you for that place be that <laughs> i've been a slim band they affect us again Okay, thank you. Yes, so, <laughs> be like saying a slim bando. 
Thank you very much, our speaker. Our speaker don't already tell us before. Say he gets another place where he need to go to, eh? Make if he even still teach them small, small. So thank you very much. As you don't show up, you don't come, you don't give us your time. Even with all the slim band the way they happen, you still say, ah, you go stay, you go teach us well, well on everything where we need to do. So thank you very much, eh? As you don't already thank talk, you. Um, as you don't teach us, waiting we supposed to, and waiting you just talk. So eh, he don't give us, he don't. Don't, don't charge us don't give us energy for tech africa say okay as you don't talk um if we if we still they do or if we feel they push this our trainings everything where we they do the provision of devices the everything shall where we they do to make sure say women where they rural areas say they get access this digital access you don't already talk and say if we feel increase them then it go good and we feel can call people say i ah, see what thing we don't do or you can't put your own part eh? So thank you very much, our speaker. I want to ask our um, Regina, but it be like say she don't come out. So um, Zablon, um, it's like you were still speaking before you were cut off by this our slim band or not slim band. So can you <laughs> confirm that you want to continue or should we um, move on to the next person? Okay, thank you so much. Uh, my last point was on uh, non-profit organizations and how they can also help in... Uh, uh, achieving this uh, digital inclusivity. So when talking about non-profit organizations, I wanted to just say they can play a role in fostering these, for instance, by providing discounted or free computers or internet access to those who are living in the rural areas. The same thing that Tech Africa is doing, just to ensure that these people who are not able to, to afford the gadgets or maybe the in, to access the internet, they are able to get them at maybe discounted rates or free of charge. Yeah, so I just wanted to con conclude by the part of uh, the non-profit making organizations. Though I had talked about the governments, and one thing that we also have to, to underscore is when talking about governments, government is just a rule of the people by the people and for the people. So which means me and you, we have to take up uh, the, the bigger space when we want to, if we want to ensure that digital inclusivity is achieved. Many a times when we talk about governments, people want to look at the president and the ministers, but then I just want us to underscore that gov when we talk about government, it is a rule of the people by the people and for the people. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Zablon. Thank you so, so much. So, our uh, people, as we don't spend so many time, it'd be like, say, today, this today owner and a slim band, maybe they come, sometimes it will be broadband, sometimes it will be slim band. So, today won't come the slim band, eh? So, we don't already take plenty of time. And normally, this our session, and normally one hour, so we don't want to take any of your time again. So, we'll just ask, say, may everybody for the table make they just talk one last word about this digital inclusion, where they Possible for I know say some people don't talk yes, some people don't talk maybe, some people feel evil for their mind, they feel say no, you know, feel they possible. But just one last thing, eh? Make our audience know say, okay, now this thing. So you get what thing we they do for Tech Africa. If you want to do project, we go write everything we want to do, how we want to do them. You get one important part for projects, will be next steps. So as we did, so I beg, as your final word, just, just tell people in their own. Um, in their own way, how their feet contribute to this digital inclusion, say, make it day possible for all of us. Because as Zablon has said, he has said that we should take it up as people. Because when people talk about the government, they're always looking at the ministers, the president, the governors. But we should look upon ourselves and take up the responsibility as well. So just one final word to tell everyone, OK, now that we have said it's possible for all, how do we then proceed? So the floor is open. The floor they open. So uh, our coach, you want to start? <laughs> okay, let me start. So the, the, the thing we say, this is inclusion. They possible. If we get the willpower, we can do it. So for our, our own space, the activities will go help us achieve our number one our connectivity. So make we get our rulers to do their own part to create the enabling environment talk about it let them give investors opportunity to come and invest so talk to your 
your as of rep your senator to ensure that policies that will allow investors make them come and change good day easy number two now literacy make we teach people because it's equal access for all so people it's not only about women but people we get disability day day we need people we go enter the tech field we go design platform we go they user friendly to people we know if we see people we know if we hear so we must also think about that one too so that people will have, will have they go know how to use them that's literacy using the platform and knowing how to maximize the platform so when they don't know them, whether you get ability or no ability and you don't be able to use them how you go use them better your life that's literacy. Then the last point we say affordability. You feel help people in your own space because if everybody in your family get devices, we connect, they could they contribute to the economy. So we could we should help people by allowing subsidy. We can as we don't remove subsidy for fuel, let's ask for subsidy for devices and subsidy for what uh, data. <laughs> So that's my own finish. So let us do our own part by calling our leaders to action, then supporting our fellow human beings, and let's support Tech Africa to train more people so that we could get more users, so that more investors could feel calm Nigeria. Thank you very much. All right, thank you, Coach Toby. You don't do well as you took come out for this matter. Like I'd already talked before. Thank you for your time. Thank you for your knowledge. As in, they say knowledge is power. I mean, knowledge is key. Let's say this key done, they open plenty doors. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you for your knowledge, your insights. Thank you for everything where you don't add for this matter where we they talk. So so Zablon, let's have you next. Just one final word on how you know people can in their own ways, in their own capacity make sure that digital inclusion is truly possible for all okay thank you once again so on how we can ensure that this digital inclusion is uh, possible for all one thing that we have to accept is that we need uh, that willpower and just what tech africa is doing what now we need is the manpower so the manpower together with the willpower will help us to ensure that uh, we reach out to all these people. I want to believe that where we are in, uh, if we gather 10 people, we can get that six of them are still not aware of what uh, th this technology is all about. So you, that one person who is amongst the six, what are you doing to ensure that these people get that knowledge? So we have the knowledge, all we need is the willpower and the manpower. Action speaks louder than words. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Zablon. Thank you for your contributions, your insights. I mean, thank you for the data that you have brought here to this uh, conversation today. Thank you for your time. I feel like you're still in the office, but yes, for all those who joined from the office, thank you so much for your time. So let's now, we will allow Franklin make it talk to you for this matter, as in final words, as in bye-bye to us. So Franklin, I beg us to mouth for this matter. Okay, uh, my own contribution will come from, you know, plenty other factors, aside from the factors where they don't state. One fundamental factor is policy. If policy takes shape, if policy stands well, it will be easy to make this thing this seamless. Now, it gets to where every strata they play, just like uh, our brother don't talk, you get through where government go play your own. You get through where um, private sector go play. You get through where um, non-governmental organizations too go play, which I go I, I say take a pick at the play that role very well in creating that synergy. One fundamental role where NGOs go play not to bridge that gap. And so far so good with the CSA NGOs like Tech Africa, they bridge that gap. Now, talking about how we as individuals we push towards the development or awareness, I will put them as awareness because advocacy 
now something where we must continue to pursue. We must continue to talk about her. We must continue to speak about her. We must, like uh, Zablon talk her, our environment, how will they make the impact? How will they make people understand, say, oh, this thing, they happen? How will they make people know, say, oh, this thing, you know, is they achievable? We get people where they, our, our rural communities, where will they talk to for phone? How will they communicate with them? How will they reach out to them? Also, they're very important. Say, ah, if I reach out to you like this, it means, say, other channels, other, other stratas, they, where you feel used to also communicate, to also achieve other things. So if we start today, spread that information within our own small space, like Zablon Talk, it will help us achieve greater things. But my parting shots for this one, we say, if everybody sit down from everything we don't talk, if government sit down do their own, if um, private sector sit down do their own, and the non-governmental organizations sit down, create that, um, try to bridge that gap, I tell you, it's not going to take us long before we see, say, structure done the set for that entire digital inclusion where we they clamor and we they advocate for. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much, Mr. Franklin. As you don't talk, I may make a trick mouth small ad for this thing where you just talk. So, but before I do that, I go read this comment where person talk. She said, digital inclusion, now everybody work. Make we not the leave them for one person. Also, it go good if we they share information with people. We not sabi use all these digital device. Make we they share knowledge. So as everybody don't talk here, we don't establish the fact, say collaboration, they important. Make everybody they work together and for this make everybody they work together we don't talk say if government do their own if um private uh individuals do their own private sectors do their own if corporate bodies to all these um telecommunication infrastructure company if they do their own it go good everybody go fit come together and we'll go see say this thing they move small small but for that part i just want to talk so small thing about this policy way way mr franklin talks so so for this policy eh, as we the established policy eh, as you know we don't know go watch this thing now maybe go day government now so if he hear us if he help us beg say as governments they establish they implement policies make it not be policies we go limit all these um multinationals or all these agencies or all these uh bodies like mtn the the different communications part make it not be um policy we go limit them or go make them you know reduce their work or go make them you know get some kind of policy sometimes where uh, if the kind of money where the the organization or the company go pay they go come they want they reduce their work more or now the masses at the end of the day go they suffer up. so like i don't already talk it, 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 we don't know where this thing will go and for our audience make it not be like say you know everybody come be like say all our speakers all our panelists just they talk tech africa tech africa tech africa if you know other private sector or private individuals or other ngos where they do work for this digital inclusion matter you feel adam join the comments or you feel tag i'm join once you watch this live tell us say ah these people they do it go good may tech africa and these people come together i don't already talk i'm um, now cooperation they make soup, uh, soup sweet eh if all of us pull hands together imagine if all the speakers here bring money now we say one cook jollof rice. Uh, uh, the more money, the more red the jollof rice go be. You not know the, the more meat we go there inside because all of us money don't enter inside that food that be. come with Bandwidth. their own then we feel work together we feel do this digital inclusion and we we feel make sure say this digital inclusion truly the possible for all so our audience thank you so much for joining in ah when i don't really put very interesting comment here today as in we don't laugh we don't even learn new words here slim band say not be not be broadband again not slim band we don't even learn that one say <laughs> but yes thank you so much for joining us it good as we they get as we talk about as we they talk about these things because all these topic it is very important not just for ourselves but for other people where it go impact because like we they do for tech africa for women where they rural areas where all these talks serve they're not even fear assessment because i the one use facebook or i the one do the facebook i the one join facebook so as as we they talk this conversation it good because 
as we they talk him, you know, say as Ablon already talk, he said that um, you know, action is better than words, right? Action would 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 go a longer way than words. So the more we talk, I'm hoping that we can push forward for action and come together just like everybody has said and do the actual work. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining in. Today was really, really amazing. Thank you to our amazing speaker, panelists. Thank you so much for those who joined and had to leave because of this uh, uh, slim band. We apologize on behalf of the in, in, of the telecommunication network that you are using. We apologize on their behalf. Just this night alone, I've had to use Glow, MTN, and Airtel just for this session alone yes maybe we should start calling them small small so that they can start doing better right but yes thank you so much thank you to everybody we join you know, we thank you as you know as the weekend they go thank god it's friday so we could go bed we could not go enjoy eh? even though we know say the economy they do once if they do shaky shaky daddy but we go enjoy, eh? thank you very very much bye thank everyone you. Bye. I think bye. In this case, was it that?